Hi everyone and welcome back to another part of our tutorial. In this part we'll finish what we have started in our last video. We'll implement the shopping list view holder and the Firestore Recycler Adapter. But first let's create a new package named Holders. And in here let's create a new Java class named Shopping List View Holder. Let's clean this up and let's extend RecyclerView.ViewHolder class. First, let's implement our constructor and then define our text views. And we have private text view. Our first text view was uh, shopping list name text view. The second one was created by text view and the last one was date text view this item view is actually the view that holds our three text view so let's go ahead and initialize them equals item view find view by id r dot id dot shopping list name text view Let's get the second one, which is created by text view equals item view, find view by id, r dot id dot created by text view, and the last one, which is text view equals item view, find view by id, r dot id dot text view. Now let's create a map, and we have public void let's name it set shopping list we'll use two arguments first one is a context and the second one is our shopping list mod you'll see this context will be used a little bit later in this tutorial but for now we need to get our shopping list name which is equal shopping list model get shopping list name. Now let's set this text to our text view and we have shopping list and text view set text and pass our shopping list name. Second, let's get created by which is equal created by and we add our shopping list model get created by now let's set the text created by text view set text and pass our created by string now let's get the date which is equal shopping list model get date now we will use an if statement because the date is not generated instantly. So if date isn't equal with null, we have date format, date format equals simple date format, get instance, and we'll pass two parameters first one is the fo date format and let's choose medium and the second one is a local and we choose local US now let's create the string shopping list creation creation date which is equal with date format format and pass our date and now simply set the text and pass our shopping list creation date and that's it with our shopping list view holder let's create now the firestore recycler adapter in our main activity shopping list model Shopping list view holder, Firestore recycler adapter equals new 
Firestore Recycler Adapter and we have already implemented two methods. Don't forget to add the semicolon and the Firestore Recycler options as an argument. Let's implement two more methods. Override on data change method and another one called get item count. Now in the on bin view holder method, let's get the holder object and call set shopping list method on it and pass as the first argument the context. For that we can use get application context method and as the second argument our model object. Now let's create a view and inflate our shopping list item layout. And we have view view equals layout inflator. And now we can call from and pass the context. In this case we have parent get context. Now we can call inflate and pass as the first argument r dot layout dot item shopping list. As the second argument we need to pass our parent group which is parent and as the last argument our, uh, the boolean false. Now let's simply return new shopping list view holder and pass our view object as an argument. Let's add now some data in our own data change method. First let's create an if statement. So if our progress bar isn't equal to null then our progress bar must be gone. Let's create a second if statement. If our get item count is equal equal to zero, this, this means that we have no item in our list, then we need to set our recycler view visibility to gun and display our empty view. Set visibility to visible. Else we need to set the visibility to our recycler view to visible and our empty view to gun. And in the end, we need to set our uh, adapter to our recycler view. Firestore recycler adapter. And now let's see if it works in our emulator. I have my emulator running. Let's sign in. And as you can see, it isn't working. I showed you guys this behavior by purpose because this is a common mistake that can be made. Since our adapter uses a listener to check for database changes, in order to make it work, we need to start first listening. So let's create our Firestore Recycle Adapter variable global. and add in our onStart method Firestore Recycle Adapter start listening and in our onStop let's create another if statement if our Firestore Recycle Adapter isn't equal to null then Firestore Recycle Adapter stop listening. Let's collapse this and this and see if it works now. Let's sign in again. And now it works. 
and as you can see we have both shopping lists that we have created a few days ago so that's it with this video in the next video i will show you how to share a shopping list between users so guys don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next video